Hello, I apologize. I had to d d delete that last video from YouTube because the time, uh, the, excuse me, the audio wasn't synced up correctly. Okay, so here's that same video again, but now you, you can see what I'm pointing at when I'm pointing at it. All right. Hello, I called Vivotech for the third time uh, today to ask specific questions that uh, I've been thinking about for a long time and Mike Mecca also thinks about. We have that in common. Um, you know, he, he speculates that that did happen and I speculate that, you know, that it's possible, but I don't think it happened just based on the surveillance footage that we do see. Okay, and what I'm talking about is this. All right, I'm going to actually just play the audio here and you can listen. Is it possible, let's say I didn't want to include a motion that was in there and I just removed that MP4 file, would it still create the EXE file or is there, does that cause an error somewhere? Okay, so again, what I'm understanding is you're actually going to where these recording clips are being saved to on a hard drive. Yeah, well, I was given an external hard drive, and they're just individual EXE files for specific motions. Right, so if you were to delete one of those, it'll be gone. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, uh, let's say right before the EXE file was created. You know, in, in whoever created the EXE file, is it possible... This is, this is some a nefarious, I'm trying to see if this is a possibility. Is it possible that somebody, okay, so let's say during a 20, a 12 hour period, there's eight motion events, okay? Mm -hmm. And you, mm -hmm. you, would, you would create the EXE files on those. Is it possible to say, well, I'm gonna remove uh, uh, events five and six and then create the EXE file and then that's all you would have on it? It was just those six? Okay, okay, I think I understand what you're saying. Now, here's what, I'm going to repeat what I think you're saying. Okay. You have a camera that's, uh, that's uh, recording motion detection. Right. Okay? And then, these motion detection files are actually on a local hard drive somewhere. Right. Okay, because you're probably using that. And if that person has the right to get into that hard drive and that folder, and those files, when you look at them, they'll have date stamp files. So he could say between here and here, I want to get rid of them. And when you delete them, you go back into the play, playback, they'll be gone. It's like if they never existed. Huh. Okay, now let me get, yeah, okay. So let me get back to that one part that we were just discussing. So let's say, you know, there's a camera, you know, uh, kitchen camera two, let's say, right? And okay, in this next part, I mentioned 24 motions, and then I say... Or I said 27 motions, and then I say 24 uh, when I said it back. That was an error. I mean, I should have said 27 again, okay? So don't say, oh, wow, he said 24. What do you, he should have said 27. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Because I'm held to some crazy standard. If I make the slightest slip up, I get called out on it, okay? So that's what's coming up, everybody. Now we can expect straight drop to focus in on, well, he said 27. Why would there only be 24? Okay, what I'm asking is if you had 27 motions, uh, would it be pop and you removed, you know, th then there'd be 27 MP4 files on your computer. Then you removed, let's say, a few of them. And then you created the EXE file, would it still work? Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting at here. So just use 27 instead of 24 when I say that. Okay, so I'm going to start the, uh, the audio file yet again. And it's filming uh, for a full day. And during that day, there's, you know, 27 motion events. And so it's store it created, uh, it, must, it must create like 24 MP4 files in a folder somewhere, right? And then somebody... Yeah. See, I was supposed to say 27 MP4 files, all right? Yes. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so then somebody says, okay, I want to make an EXE file. However, I want to remove six of those motions from the EXE file prior. So you just go into the folder, delete those MP4 files, and then create the EXE file, right? And then those are just yeah, gone. We no longer have those, that time mm. period there anymore. Okay, well, that's... Let's say, you know. let's, say, let's say you had 20 minutes, and seven of those minutes, you say, you know, I, I don't want those. 
So you can go in to meet, because you know, the, 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 the father and the son have time stamps. The meet goes in, and then when the executable goes, won't be there anymore. And it's like if nothing ever was recorded. Wow, that's nuts. So you, somebody could cover up a crime if they actually had the access, you know, right? If they have access to where the location of the recorded uh, uh, motion boxes or the, the recordings are being sent to, yeah. Yeah, because like somebody takes off with the hard drive, you no longer have access to the to the files. They can't see anything. There's nothing there. Yeah, that's wild. Okay, we're back to live me now. Yeah, see that that's some crazy stuff right there. I mean, I think I I I kind of thought that this was possible, okay? That uh someone could remove a motion event from a camera and you would know, you wouldn't see it. Okay? Now, this is possible for every single, you know, surveillance system that uses Vivitech and I think probably a lot more. Okay? So the thing is is at what point do you say, wow, are they all doing this? You know, the thing is, is, yeah, I mean, things are possible to do, all right? There's just so many other things in this um, case that would have to work as well. Like, nobody would mention anything. Um, you know, how did they even know Kanika was in the kitchen? All right? Uh, you'd have to absolutely, there's nobody in the surveillance footage when she's in the surveillance footage. All right, that's just that's just the way it is. And what I did talk to him about editing, like let's say I even asked him in another uh, call about putting a smiley face, for example, in the middle of an M one of those MP4 files in a different software and then saving it back out. And he sounded like he thought maybe that was possible, but he wasn't really sure about how that affects the time code that's then associated with that motion event mp4 file okay uh, so i'm going to show you kind of a, a graphical representation of what he's talking about all right let me see if i can do this in a, a clear way here uh, let's see i'm going to try to move up this uh fit this in the screen it's kind of difficult all right okay so pretend uh i actually took uh on the 10th and i've made four different clips of the of motion events that happen in a row okay so what we have is here comes the food and beverage manager i know this is pretty small let me make oh there we go there we go oh, i gotta keep that in there okay is it possible? Let's say I didn't. Okay, hold on. Let me turn off the. Uh, get this audio out of here. All right. So let, this is one motion event when the assistant food and beverage manager came in. Okay, just look down here. See, I, I separated them with the buffer. One of the buffers overlapped, but I just pretended there was one. Okay, because a new a new motion happened and it kept recording. All right, so see how the manager's there, and he goes back and gets this guy individually? Well, let's say I didn't want somebody to know that this guy was going back there, all right? I can then take this out, and then all you'd have is these ones. Now it would look like this. Here comes the manager. He leaves. Okay, now watch down here. You took out the one where the one guy came in with him, and the next thing you see are uh, something totally different. Watch. Okay, now you have this guy coming back by himself, you know, without the manager. Right? So you could literally make it seem like, uh, like this guy coming. So there's a manager. He leaves. And it almost like, well, he just told the officer to go in there by himself, right? I mean, that would that would change sort of a narrative. Yeah, he went back and say, "Hey, officer, I'm too, I'm too scared. Go back and check the freezer," because that's kind of makes sense right there. But in reality, that's not what happened, right? 
And then let's say you have all these other officers coming in in event four. So let's take out the middle one and then move this over. Now watch this. The food and beverage manager, assistant food and beverage manager, he leaves the kitchen and then he tells about six different, a group of six officers to come in and they come in and I've kept everything in order too. So I could have removed those first two clips if I was going to export out an EXE file and it tells a different story. See, he just left and he told these guys and they came in and wow, a whole bunch of officers came in. You know, and you never see the manager again. All right, and so that's kind of what, what they're saying is that you each one of these is an event and you can remove them. The correct order w was this right here. All right, the food and beverage manager goes out. He gets the officer. Oh, excuse me. I put these two out of order like that. All right, so he goes out and gets the one officer. Then that officer... Uh, goes back and then he leaves and then he brings back a whole bunch of officers in the final one all right so that is something that is possible okay and i don't know if anybody checked their systems out or anything but uh, maybe that's something they might want to do just so we can you know get off of that aspect uh, let me see where i am here let's place more of the the call So you, somebody could cover up a crime if they actually had the access, you know, if right? If they have access to where the location of the recorded uh, uh, motion boxes or the, the recordings are being sent to, yeah. Yeah, because like somebody takes off with the hard drive, you no longer have access to the, to the files. They can't see anything. There's nothing there. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, because the, the yeah, case yeah. with, you know, the one I'm working on right now is a lot of people speculate that the hotel covered up an event that happened and because you know you see it and then there's then there's 17 hours later you see somebody walking and then 17 hours later that's the next motion but they somebody could easily go in i mean not easily you'd have to have the permission and all that kind of stuff and you go in and you would delete you know like there could be six more motion most companies would back up every day Okay. Because if, if somebody, if, if, uh, if there's an automatic backup, all you gotta do is go back to the next day and the stuff will still be there. Huh. Now, is there any way to detect that somebody deleted something? Just probably using forensic, you know, computer forensic stuff, right? Probably just, you know. Yeah, probably. I mean, if you throw enough money at it, you can figure it out. Because you'll be able to tell, okay, uh, uh, so-and-so logged in with his credentials, and he went over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they'll actually catch that he deleted something, but they'll know whoever logged in, if somebody went into that folder. Huh. But, you know, they got to really know their stuff as networking people. I don't know. Yeah, but is it pretty simple for just somebody who had access to do what we're saying? Yep. Very easy for them to delete. Huh, yeah. So that is pretty easy for someone to cover up a motion they didn't want somebody to see. Yep, and again, those are easy. Look at those files. They all have a year, a time, beginning and ending. So they don't even have, they could just look at that if they know what time they want to get rid of. Yeah. And just select those and delete. Done. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you, if somebody knows their networking really well, they can go in there and then see who went where acquire their credentials and what did they delete but right again, the, the best thing is hopefully these people have a backup they're supposed to be doing a backup every day hmm. then you know if you if you find that it's missing today it probably was there yesterday yeah so i don't know how long the incident was but let's say if it happened on a sunday and it's wednesday and they deleted on wednesday that back of the recording will still be sunday monday tuesday still be there All right okay that makes sense. And they can't just easily get to the backup, these same people. Yep, yep. If they have a backup, and most companies, you know, they want a backup. The data is important. Couldn't they also go in there and delete the backup raw files, too? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's interesting. That's the uh, the case I'm looking at. It. Everything looks like an accident, but that's the only scenario that I've thought that uh, is possible that could happen that would wouldn't make it an accident. Is that somebody deleted motion events that did not make it um, onto the exe files that we're all seeing to come up with our conclusions okay so wow okay well that's good to know and uh well i appreciate you talking to me okay that's all i needed to know i just wanted to see if that's a possibility okay thanks a lot okay good luck bye bye But yeah, so you can see right there that it is possible, okay? So, um, you know, I like to put out the full disclosure stuff, like when I found the pixelation in the 3GP uh, files, and turns out that was just something Adobe Premiere did. It filled in the gaps with a still frame, and so did does Windows Media Player, I guess. Uh, but... You know, my, my opinion doesn't change. You know, it does make me think, okay, well, there's a possibility, just like I thought before, but I wanted to see if it really was a possibility, and it turns out it is possible. Okay, and I think we've all known that it's possible, but it's or not known. We've all believed that it's possible, but this guy said that it is possible. And he, you know, he's a technical support guy at Vivotech, so I don't know you know how m much information he actually knows but he seemed like he knew what he was talking about okay so yeah there you go i i'm not going to hide something when i find it and this is the information and uh use it how you may all right so until next time i will talk to you later